Hi, so things might look a little bit different from now on because I've changed my camera equipment. Basically, I've been thinking about changing what I've been shooting with for a little while because my 5D that I was using before was really heavy, really bulky and just not really very practical for me to be sort of lugging around with me, particularly when I'm doing things like vlogs. In an attempt to combat that, I've decided to sell all of my 5D equipment because I'm literally just using it for vlogging at the moment and like I say it's not it, it wasn't practical. I traded in my kit and now I'm shooting with an Olympus OMD. Not sponsored. <laughs> like I'm gonna have sponsorships. So it's really cool. It's a beautiful camera. It looks like an old film camera aesthetically. I've been doing a little bit of research and sort of umming and ahhing what I want to be shooting with from now on. I feel like I've made a really good choice. There is a different lens that I really want to sort of get hold of. It's something that will give me a bit more of a softer focus, which is the kind of stuff that I enjoy shooting with anyway. The lens that I've got at the moment is like a standard 14 to 42 millimeter, and it has a focal range of... Charlotte, you don't mean focal range, you mean aperture. You're an idiot, you went to art school, you studied photography, goddammit. 3.5 to 5.6. Ideally, I want something that's gonna be really soft. So I'm looking into getting a lens that is like a 1.8 or something like that, which is even softer than what I was shooting with before, but I feel I feel like it'll be good. I've been thinking a lot about the kind of content that I want to create. Like I feel like in these last two weeks, I've had a lot of time to kind of think about who I am because I've spent so much time by myself with me being ill. It's really allowed me to do a lot of thinking. I've been doing morning pages, which is basically where the first thing, like one of the first things you do in the morning before like you look at your phone, before you do anything like that is you basically write like 750 words or three pages of just just your thoughts, like you, you thought vomit onto a page. And it's been really useful for me just to sort of clear my head and kind of listen to my thoughts instead of just blocking them out. Like I've even turned off all my notifications on my phone, like text messages, WhatsApp and phone calls. Everything else I have to actively look at the apps to use them. Just cause I wanna be a little bit more mindful with my social media usage. I find like a lot of people I spend a lot of time sitting and scrolling, 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 scrolling endlessly. And I'll get a notification and then that cycle starts up again and it's just a bit, I don't know, I feel like I could be enjoying life more, I could be in the present a little bit more. And so far it's been really good. I've really enjoyed it and it's definitely something that I want to keep up with. It's just been a wonderful experience. In addition to the sort of camera change, I've been thinking about the kind of content I want to produce. This is still going to be heavily animal related. They are the biggest part of my life and they're always going to feature. During my little time of introspection I've had, I've been thinking about the kind of videos that I enjoy watching. I've been thinking about the kind of content that I want to produce. Generally, I'm quite an eclectic person. I don't have a set taste in music or in films or in comics. I don't subscribe to one particular type of thing. For me, I kind of enjoy what I enjoy and that's it. The kind of content that I predominantly enjoy watching and the sort of stuff that I'm kind of excited about are things like vlogs and kind of having a little bit of an insight into somebody else's life. Even when I was doing my photography degree, my whole focus, the kind of work that I enjoyed is looking at the mundane and making the mundane interesting. And I was having a shower this morning and I was thinking about the kind of videos I enjoy watching and the kind of work that I want to produce. And I like a lot of people like Julian Solomita, I think that's how you say his name. It's his, Jenna Marbles, his boyfriend. But I really enjoy the kind of, I really, girls, pipe down. One second. I really enjoy watching his vlogs. I really enjoy Emma Cham Chamberlain. Emma Chamberlain. Just because it's just ordinary stuff, but the way they put it together is really interesting and they make going to grab coffee and going shopping and that kind of thing they make it really interesting and i think that's really reflective of the kind of photography stuff that i used to do i used to like taking photos of everyday stuff really boring things to most people but the response that i would get from my photography work and a bit of my video work that i've done is you make a tree look interesting it isn't just a tree like you make it look beautiful and i feel like that's the kind of work that I want to do when it comes to making videos. Like I say, of course I'm going to be continuing to feature 
contribute to the animals and I will be updating everybody on the different fosters I get, when I get new animals, when I there's, there's an update, you will get that. But I feel like for me, the kind of way that I enjoy filming is a little on the hip. I like to share what I'm doing and I wanna make all those mundane, boring experiences beautiful. And I think there's a lot to be said about that. I know it's not what everybody wants to do and that's fine, that's okay. I still enjoy beauty videos, I still enjoy lifestyle videos, minimalism, music videos, comedy, like I love that but I feel like for me trying to fit into this kind of pet tube space isn't me. It is me in that my life literally revolves around animals and I love them and, and that kind of thing but I don't know I kind of feel like there's a little more to me than that. I want to educate people and I want to inform people where I can but that doesn't feel like that's my sole purpose and through the kinds of things that I've been watching recently and that kind of thing. Like, I, I feel like there's a way that I can incorporate that into vlogs and that's kind of the direction that this channel's been going in over the last month or so anyway. But I don't know, like now that I've got this new camera that's gonna make it easier for me to vlog, I think that's gonna be predominantly how this whole thing goes. There's still gonna be the aesthetic shots, there's still gonna be like that kind of thing because that's how I like to shoot. But I don't know, I just, I wanna share what I'm doing and my thoughts and that kind of thing. I'm probably rambling and this doesn't make a lot of sense so so that's that that's that little little thing. Something else I need to update you guys on is I rather spontaneously got another foster animal yesterday. I held off announcing it because I wanted to use the camera. I'd already traded in my SLR but today I had to wait on the lens to come in so I didn't want to yeah I basically didn't have any equipment to, to film on apart from my iPhone. iPhone? I don't use an iPhone phone. I use a pixel. So I shot a little bit on my phone just so you could sort of see him settling in and that kind of thing. I have a new foster cat. Now I don't want anyone worrying because I know in my previous videos I've mentioned that Mika's got FIV and that he won't be able to live with other cats. Freddy, my new foster, has also got FIV so they're very compatible in that we don't have to worry about Mika infecting them because Freddy is already infected. So basically the people that are interested in Freddy want Mika as well. They want to adopt two cats which is fantastic but we need to make sure that Mika and Freddy get on. So they messaged me yesterday and said how do you feel about taking on a second cat? Like do you think Mika will be suitable to live with another cat? And because in the time that I've had him I've not seen him with another cat I was like well you're more than welcome to bring this other cat around and we'll see how it goes. So basically he's having a bit of a trial period to sort of see if they hate each other. So far everything has gone really well. Um, we're really happy with the progress that they've, they've made. Freddy is spending a lot of time under my bed at the moment. Mika hissed at him a little bit yesterday, but that is to be expected. As far as Mika's concerned, this is his territory and there's a new cat coming in here, but there's been no sort of violence towards each other. There's not been anything that has caused any concern for me. I'm gonna insert a little bit of footage in here of of what I shot on my iPhone. Why do I keep saying iPhone? I think it's because I've been watching so many vlogs and people keep talking about iPhones. Some footage that I shot on my phone yesterday, just because I didn't want to miss out on those initial kind of introduction type things. So yeah, throw in some footage. So enjoy that. And I'm gonna go and test out this camera and sort of see how Freddie is doing now. So yeah. I think you're gonna be absolutely fine. A couple of laptops, aren't you? That's where you hide. That's your hiding spot, isn't it? Thanks. <laughs> Stash some food. Well, I think that's going well. You've been into your bedroom. Have you been into your bedroom later? You see what he's doing? Oh, you see what he's doing? Oh, he's under the bed. That's where you hid. Yeah, when you were scared, little boy. Not scared little boy anymore, are you? He's a brave man. Come on then, let's leave him to it. Come on, come on, leave him alone. Okay. Good boy. 
Shall we see if Freddy wants one, Freddy? Good. Oh, good boy. Does the void want one? Yes, he does. Originally, this was going to be one big video. So originally, I'd intended to have all of my faffing around with my new camera footage in this video. However, it's like a 12 minute video already because I rambled loads and I don't want to bore anybody. I'm going to upload my vlog footage that I took today on my new camera as a separate video. So I hope you enjoyed this video and didn't mind about me rambling too much. Yeah, this is a kind of a weird video. It's not very often I sit down and just talk at a camera for ages, but that's what happened. So the vlog footage is coming. It will be up soon. It depends how quickly I get through all of it, but I just didn't want to cram too much into one whole video. So maybe, maybe I can start putting title cards and stuff in. That's not something I've done yet. Maybe when it goes up, there's gonna be a link here, here, or here, maybe here. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if that's what you're into, and I will see you next time. Bye.